changing lives. Good evening, my lovely viewer and audience. Thank you very much for watching us live on Hope Channel. You are watching Love at Home. Love at Home is very, very important. That is why today we are coming into your homes with Love at Home. Love at Home seeks to bring love, peace, happiness into our homes and society. On this program, we will be discussing issues that affect our daily lives, that is godly marriage principles, raising godly children, and etc. Every Tuesday, same time at 8 p.m., we would come into your homes with different topics that would enhance our daily lives. I am your host, Efia Sewa Mansa. You are welcome. You out there, thank you for watching. You are welcome. Today, I have with me lovely people, a pastor and a very beautiful woman. Not to say the pastor is not handsome. <laughs> He's very, very handsome. With me here, I have Pastor Nana Nimako. Pastor is a counselor and a minister. Pastor, you are welcome. Thank you very much, Mamsa. Ah, when you call me Mamsa, I'm so happy. Thank <laughs> you, thank you, thank you. I'm Pastor, glad I did. How has your day been like? Mine has been very, very hectic because of traffic. I hope yours was not like mine. Oh, not traffic, but trying to meet deadlines, you That's, know, oh. with reports and ah. a few other things at, at the, the office. At the end of the month, I can imagine. Yes. So but I hope all went well. Yes, by the grace of God. Grace God was good, God. yeah. Grace be to God. I also have with me Madam Hannah Oye Efriye. Madam Oye Efriye is a clinical psychologist and a parent, too. Wow, you are welcome. Thank you very much. I love much. your smile. Sweetheart. <laughs> it's so infectious. Yes. And thanks so much. Thank you, Mom, too. you're welcome. I hope your Thank day you. was good, too. Anyway, per the work, <laughs> it hasn't been easy since morning. Hmm. But by the grace of God, we managed to do our best. God is in control. Thank you. And you out there, my audience, my lovely viewer, I love you for watching me. We go for a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Don't leave the dial. Stay tuned. Coco Dairy Free Coconut Milk. Coco Dairy Free Coconut Milk. It's a fully plant based milk, non curdling in tea or coffee, and it's a lovely treat with any breakfast beverage or meal. It contains calcium and vitamin D2 for strong teeth and bones, and vitamin B12 to help boost your blood for vitality. Coco is 100% vegetarian and is approved by the Vegetarian Society of UK. It's also lactose and dairy free, which is good even for people with lactose intolerance. Coco, get one today. Coco Dairy Free Coconut Milk. Nature's health at your doorstep. For both purchases. Contact 027-444-0180. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Coco Dairy Free Coconut Milk. Back. If you just tuned in, you are watching Love at Home. And today, very, very interesting topic. Today we are discussing parenting. When we all went to school, we studied various subjects like economics, geography, etc. I guess nobody studied parenting, but it is a crucial topic for us to discuss. It forms the foundation of lives and society. That is why there is the need for us to know what parenting is and how to go about it. Who can go into parenting? Can anybody do parenting? What are the techniques? So today, we, with my guest, <laughs> Pastor Nimako, and Madame Oye Friye, we are going straight into what parenting is about. Let me start with you, mommy psychologist, Mama Hannah. 
can you throw more light on what parenting is about or who a parent is? Who is a parent? Thank you very much for the question. Uh, when we say someone is a parent, the person is one who is taking care or raising a child or children. Uh, it could be your biological child or a guardian child or a foster child. So a parent is someone raising a child or children. Yeah. Thank you. Pastor, do you want to add something to what Madame Oye said? Yes, um, I mean, fundamentally, that is what parenting, I mean, a, par a parent is. But you, you, we can just to expatiate on what um, uh, Mummy would have said would mean that, um, you know, yes, predominantly somebody taking care of a child, whether biological or adopted. But sometimes it's done by either um, a single uh, person, like either the man or the woman or both. Pastor, I like where you, you started the argument from. I am so happy with it because um, my next question was going to be, can, can I say I'm a single mother or single father? So whatever I have to do for a child, I am exempted in a way. Or it doesn't go that way. No, it could be very challenging. It could be very challenging, but you would have to be up to the task. Once, once you have a, a child, you, you are expected to take care of the child. So whether single or with your, with your marriage partner, which is the husband or the wife, that kind of responsibility must be seen to be done. So, I mean, there are no excuses okay. and there are no middle grounds to it. Once you have a child and, and, the, and children are yeah. heritage from God, you know, yes. they are precious. Yes. I mean, it would be very extremely difficult to say you would not want to you know, keep up with that kind of responsibility. Yeah. But, I mean, it is something that you cannot run away from. It is something you must perform as a parent, whether single or do I say double? <laughs> both. <laughs> both. <laughs> yes, both is much better. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Auntie Waye, um are there types of parenting? Are there types or forms of parenting? Because yeah. sometimes we say... This is a bad parent. This is a good parent. Are mm. there types of parenting? There are types. Uh, we have, if you uh, listen to the uh, definition very well, I think I mentioned a biological or foster parent. Uh, we have these two types. Either I give birth and I'm taking care. I'm raising the child. Or I adopt a child, or both parents adopt a child, and we are taking care. So biological is where you personally, both of you have given birth to your children and you are taking care of. And then the, uh, I would say, environmental, whether uh, uncle, grandmother, uh, foster mother, whoever is taking care is the environmental one that is fostering. Yeah. Okay. So the, I think there are two main types, either your own children or you are fostering other children. Yeah. Yes, I want to add something. I mean, basically, that these, these are the type of parents we have. One, like um, Auntie would have said, we have those ones that are your biological ch children. And so that's, that's, an, that's one way of becoming a parent. A parent yeah. And then another way, or just to add to it, is when you have adopted, yeah. you know, to, to take care of, of, of children or a child. And that also goes through a lot of processes, yeah. you know, before you can now own those children and, and take care of them. And so it's either you're taking care of your own biological children or you are taking care of children you have adopted. Okay. And, and sometimes there are, there, are, there are children you may, you know, in our society, sometimes yeah. they have 
do I say unofficial? Like you of, don't do legal exactly, adoption, yes, but, but you still you have still some have responsibility yes. towards, them. towards them. Either yeah. they are living with, with you, you. It, usually you, they will have you, to live you with take you, care. or you take care of them. Yeah. You know, paying some sort of bills. yes when yeah. they are when they yeah. are not necessarily and residing, they're staying with you. Yeah, staying with yeah. you. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that is wonderful. Um, when does parenting start at all? Pastor. Yes, you see, I mean, parenting. I mean, parenting starts when, when the when there is an issue. That's how we say it, right? Yeah. Parenting starts when, when the two have met. Uh, yeah. So we are looking at it from the two angles. Yes. Okay. When the two have met as husband and wife, yes. and then they they would have seen each other, and the woman gets pregnant. For okay. me, that is where parenting starts, starts. from. Mm. Lovely. And now I will also add that uh, when you even have the thought okay. of becoming pregnant or having a child, okay. that is where the process starts. Would have started from yes, I, I, uh -huh. I agree. Okay, so, so, you, so kind of you're talking about um, when we even start. Uh, when you get counseling, yes, I mean premarital uh -huh. counseling. Yes, yeah, parental would have definitely, <laughs> definitely. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for mom, you are saying the moment you decide that I'm getting married, for example, and so probably when you you know that when you after marriage, you, you may be thinking of raising children. Babies, then yeah. that is where parenting start from. Yes, but okay. you see. In our sub-region, as uh -huh. Africans, uh -huh. you see, for us, the moment you start initiating those, uh, the marriage, these are the, the thoughts that you have because the extended family members are ready, waiting for your baby after marriage. But you see, when you go to the other world, they can even sit down to decide that we are marrying, but we don't we are i mean babies. our focus is not to make, to make babies, babies you see yeah. so it differ from um, cultures, cultures. Yeah. right since we have starting point do we then have finishing end or finishing point parenting till jesus comes hi <laughs> yeah. till that kingdom and comes. once you start <laughs> it doesn't end it doesn't why end. so why is it so madam we uh, the point is one, I mean, at every point, there is a child and there is a parent. Do you understand? Okay. Because, for instance, I'm grown. I have my children. They are also grown. But my mother is still alive. She is around 107 wow. thereabout. Wow, bless wow. Her. Uh, but she is fine. She is there. Mm -hmm. When you are discussing something and she feels that she has to bring her input she will say it freely exactly and that makes her a parent yeah that's great trying to resolve issues, issues. amongst <laughs> children and all yes. that okay. you see so it doesn't end so. until death do us or, part yes okay. or life is no more yes oh that's yeah. good so you <laughs> cannot say i am 102 107 so i am done parenting um, once you have people below you in the form of either the, you raise them or somebody raise them, yeah. you are still a parent. Yes. From what we just yeah. discussed. So we say it is a process. It's a process. It has no end. And it moves from one stage to another. another. Okay. So, so like parenting is like a marathon. You mm -hmm. know, when you, when you look at athletics, yeah. you know, we have the sprint event, yeah. like 100 meters. Yes. 100 meters is like... Pa, 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 and you're done. Yes. You know, but marathon, yeah. you know, it takes you a long on. while yeah. to finish. Yes. Yeah. And, and it calls for endurance, it calls for yes. persistence, it calls for patience. Focus, patience, and all of those things, dynamics will have to be, be playing some role yeah. in, in the issue of parenting. And so parenting is more, more, more of a process yeah. than, than we usually would have given thought of. Uh, and you see, for me, as a Christian counselor, I would want to say that parenting is raising the children to understand the realities, which yeah. even includes the reality of the gospel. Yes. yes. Pastor, you get, you, you yes. get there. You get there. But uh, I want to come back to Antioye. Antioye, I, I love the point where you said 
um, parenting doesn't end. So irrespective of your age, you, you always be a parent. Uh, so, and you also mentioned the fact that you mentioned environment. Is there any specific environment that supports good child raising or good child upbringing? Hmm. Uh, this question, you see, uh, each and every one wants to have an, a, I mean, a peaceful atmosphere to train uh, his or her child. But uh, sometimes, situations <laughs> don't allow us, be it financial or where you find yourself, you see. So uh, at will, it's okay to have an environment where, uh, I mean, that will suit the training of your children. But you are renting an apartment or a, a single room or a chamber in a hall uh, with 10 tenants renting with you, you see. You can have your own way, but if you are a Christian and <clears throat> your values, your Christian values will help you to raise your child out of that environment. It is not always that you can get your own like apartment where you try. I know a, 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 a parents who train their children in one of the communities in Accra here and the children are fine. I mean they are matured in terms of their Christian values and everything. They are on point. But where they were trained, it is a no a no go area. You see the point. But with the support of Christ, they were able to bring up these children. So I think it will be good to have a decent I mean, even in Ghana here, where is the a decent environment, uh, if <laughs> I should say it. <laughs> what, what you, you just said is bringing so many thoughts into my mind. Then, it, you are, in a way, you are saying it's going to be difficult to raise uh, godly children in looking at the way you've, uh, you've explained it. Pastor, how do you go about this? Yes, yeah, so you see, we we actually have some philosophies of parenting. Mm -hmm. And we seem to be talking about one of them. Yes. What we talk about um, the social um, yeah. learning, learning theory, theory. Yes. or what we call the environmental determinism. Okay. So, and you see, this, these philosophies looks good on the yeah. surface. Yeah. But okay. sometimes when they, are, when they are put before what we believe as the, Christians, the practice, yeah. that's where you begin to see the whole. So I agree with Auntie largely on what she has said. Because if you look at John 1, 46, for example, mm -hmm. you know, uh, he said, uh, can anything good come, come from, from Nazareth? Yes. You, you understand? So yeah. clearly he's telling us he, he knew of this, the, the situation, situation in Nazareth, Nazareth yeah. and how can the Messiah and yeah. the King, yeah. uh, you know, come yeah. from yeah. such yeah. a low, you know, graded yeah. area yeah. like that and the kind of community. Yeah. So yes, uh, the environment has a role to play in, in the upbringing of, 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 of children. But in those kind of theories, and I like the way um, um, Auntie would have ended it, that um, we have the Christian tenants also playing yeah. a huge role in this because it cannot always be true mm -hmm. that the environment determine, would have to determine, yeah, determine who you are who you should be yeah. otherwise what what is the place of choice yes. in, in 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 god creating man yeah. and, and all of that yeah. if we didn't have a choice, a choice. Yeah. wherever environment we happen to to have found ourselves yes. that is who we become yeah. then it is problematic but the reality is that we live in a society and that environment that we live in has, has a role to play in what we do. And that is where parents 
-hmm. must 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 be up and doing. Mm -hmm. But you see, we have we have we have this thing. You see, we have uh, in parenting, you will have the secular and the Christian. Yes. You see, when we do, when you talk about the secular, the secular will actually look at the, the mental. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it will look at the physical mm -hmm. and will look at the social. Yes. That will be the secular way. Yes. But interestingly, even many Christian homes are, are thriving on that point because yes. the second one, which I will say, ha, which also emphasizes too much on the, the spiritual social. and living, the especially the social. social. Yeah. You understand? It's also problematic. So yes. we talk about the Christians also will look, the Christians also look more at the mental, look at the physical, and instead of the social, they look at the spiritual. Yeah. You know, but all of them are important. And then the overriding principle around them yeah. should be the spiritual. Okay. 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 So we, 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 we should be able to look at them in, in, in that light. So for example, I, 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 in a child's development, mm -hmm. yes, we must develop. In, and it's so with Luke chapter 2, verse 52. You know, he says that Jesus grew both in mm -hmm. wisdom. wisdom. So yeah. the wisdom will be for the mental. For the mental. Yes. You know, stature. Yes. yes. Physical. physical. Uh, in, in, the, in, in, the, in the favor of, of God. God. Spiritual. Wow. spiritual yeah. And then in the, in, in, the, in the favor of men as yeah. well. That's the so physical. physical. I mean, social. social. You understand? So we have to look at parenting from all oh, these angles. Yes. And the best of them is when the child develops mentally, the child develops socially, the child physical. develops physically, it's and the spiritual. overriding principle the is the spiritual aspect. And yeah. then that kind of raising of child becomes very complete. complete. And yeah. that is where it is able to challenge those those holes in those theories, mm -hmm. you know, to, to mold yeah. the child to become what they must become. Yes. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is wonderful. And so, yes, so yes. listening um, to Pastor, then it tells us that um, I cannot say that, for example, when we go to school, sometimes as a parent, you'll be there, then the school will write to you. Uh, our children are having, uh, going for excursion. Then you see some parents, no, 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 no. I'll not let my child go. No, 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 no. I sent you to school to go and study, not to go for excursion. So from what Pastor is saying, then it means there's a problem there. Yes. What does these physical or social things, aspects that support children help them as they grow? How, how does it support them in their growth? Thank you. You see, uh, we are talking about if you are raising a child, you are helping with the uh, development of the child, mm -hmm. right? So, Pastor says social, spiritual, mental, uh, mental and social, and physical. And physical. Yeah. Yeah. You see, if children do not socialize with other uh, children, mm -hmm. how do they grow? Mm -hmm. They grow and they are not able to socialize with their counterparts. Mm -hmm. So we are having couple uh, relationship conflict all over hmm. because of the training mm -hmm. that people had from. Really? Yes, from the beginning. Hmm. Because their social life, you see. I have met uh, uh, parents whose children are always stay indoors, <laughs> watch cartoons, and they don't play with any other person in the neighborhood. Mm. So they don't know anybody. Mm. And it is affecting the children. Sure. So when they came, I told them, Madam, you are just disturbing the peace of the children. Mm -hmm. Let them play wow. with other children in the community. Mm -hmm. As they play together, they hate each other. Uh, sometimes they laugh at them. It builds their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. It builds their self-confidence. And as they play, it also clears their minds of boredom and other things. And the brain is able to function normally. So we are, we are raising normal children. 
and not really sure. children. Sure. We are raising them. We are building them. We are training them to become someone who is relevant in society. You see, people marry and maybe for the right from the beginning, they don't talk to anybody. They don't have any relationship with any person. And so that husband or wife doesn't even know how to adjust his or herself in the relationship. So they marry one month, two months, and then the relationship is collapsing. Mm -hmm. You see, the, it, it comes from, from the, home. the home, the training, right? So it is good that you look at the spiritual aspect that is training the child with the scripture. You go to church, you go with your child. If they are learning, your child is part of the learning process at the children's department. Mm -hmm. You come home, some children are playing football Sunday in the morning. At least just give some 30 minutes for that social part of his or her life. You see, you don't yeah. cut them. So it's, it's important. Okay, so now we've learned the social aspects and probably the physical aspect because in your explanation, I could see the physical aspect that is the playing, then the yeah. social and all that. Pastor, help us with the spiritual aspect. How does it support or how does it help the child's ch development? You see, like, like I, I explained before, you know, when I spoke about the overriding principle being the spiritual, you know, the raising a child, the ultimate goal is to let the child know Christ. Mm -hmm. That is the ultimate goal of parenting. Mm -hmm. Because we understand that children are a heritage from, from God. God. Yes. So once God has gifted them to us, it is our sole responsibility to account back to God. How do we account back to God? Now, tailoring them on a line where they would now know God and accept him as their, as their personal savior. So that is the fundamental principle. Now, what it does is that, you know, it has, it has the moral yeah. aspect to do with all of these ones. Mm -hmm. And so the child now is able to, to decipher between what is good and what is bad. Because in the society, mm -hmm. when they mingle, mm -hmm. they hear all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And they come across children with all kinds of different backgrounds yeah. and understanding. Yeah. So it is now in the home, you know, it could be the church, even the school, because maybe a child attends a Christian school, or even now, even now, church, schools that does not belong to churches do morning devotions. Yes. So I'm looking at it in all yeah. of this respect, where the child is, is taught about good morals, yes. to be able to differentiate between what is good and what is bad, and to know why they must do what is good and, and abhor yeah, what is, is bad. bad. All of these things, now they, because they have this understanding, they are now able to put all the other aspects in their right perspective. Yes. Okay. How do you do that? Morning devotions, yeah. giving of scriptures for the children to memorize. You know, especially kids of today, they will come asking you questions. Mm -hmm. You are able to explain to them mm -hmm. to understand, mm -hmm. other than forcing it on, on, them. on them and all of that. You know, when you do the bits and pieces of all of these ones, now it helps the child to be able to put all the other aspects, aspects. in their perspective. Yeah. Wow. Now, looking at all these, it is true that parents have huge responsibilities. What are some of the responsibilities as a parent? Well, there are so many <laughs> of them. <laughs> we can't even finish uh, outlining them, but the basic one, the basic ones are one, as a parent, you are responsible to provide basic needs of the child like 
shelter, clothing, food, and others. That is one aspect, one responsibility of a parent. And then you have a responsibility to make sure that the child is able to also know Christ. Okay. It is your duty, your responsibility, you see. So providing all the basic psychological and physical needs of the child, that spiritual aspect is very, very key. And when you are able to do that, then you introduce the children to know how to love, how to share, I mean, things with other others. So when they are growing, they know that, oh, if I have a piece of biscuit mm -hmm. and someone doesn't have, mm -hmm. we were taught that, hey, you have to share your share. small food with other people. Mm -hmm. But someone will say no, and then the person will do this, yeah. you see. So it tells you where the person it's is coming, coming from. from, you see. So providing your responsibility as a parent is to provide all basic needs. You make sure the child has security, uh, food, clothing, shelter. The health care is also important. Education is also part of it. And then the social aspect of human being should also be built by you as a parent. And then the spiritual aspect, who is going to do it? Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph and Mary, they did the, their job. Mm -hmm. They take uh, uh, Jesus to chapel whenever they are going to Boy. chapel. Yeah. So you as a parent, it is your responsibility. How can you go to church and leave your children? Uh, I won't go to church today. Then <laughs> you just take your bag and then you go. And then you, go. <laughs> you see? So it is your responsibility to make sure that spiritually they are safe. Physically, they are safe. Education-wise, they are safe. And then uh, food and other things, they are also safe there. Wow. My lovely viewer, this discussion has been so overwhelming and it is so interesting. But I'm reminding you that you can send your contributions, that is your question or your feedback, to 055 On all our social platforms, too, you can send your, your comments or your feedback too on them. Uh, Hope TV Ghana on Facebook and on our YouTube channels as well. We are going for a quick commercial break. Please stay tuned and don't leave the dial. We want to defy our family's decision and get married or elope. I need advice. What should I do? Please, what should I do? How do I tell her I cheated on her months ago? I need help. What should I do? Okay, so for me, the moment I read the story, the first thing that came to mind was, wow, knowledge is indeed power. Sometimes we go through situations because we have no knowledge of how to go about them. If you come from a home like that, you are likely to accept anything the outsider would, you know, direct at. The fact that he had um, a, a, an interesting ceremony where a priest prayed and all of that doesn't mean that magically he have turned into something else. If he finds his way to God, a Bible, a Bible believing church, and uh, he goes and he wants to change, nothing is, is he impossible. Is giving his properties to charity and stuff? Oh, and no, like why? Well. Okay, I think this is another discussion that we will yes. not end you today, so we know everything to charity. Real talk showing this and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Cocoa, dairy free coconut milk.
Cocoa Dairy Free Coconut Milk. It's a fully plant-based milk, non-curdling in tea or coffee, and it's a lovely treat with any breakfast, beverage, or meal. It contains calcium and vitamin D2 for strong teeth and bones, and vitamin B12 to help boost your blood for vitality. Cocoa is 100% vegetarian, and it's approved by the Vegetarian Society of UK. It's also lactose and dairy-free, which is good even for people with lactose intolerance. Cocoa, get one today. Cocoa Dairy-Free Coconut Milk. Nature's health at your doorstep. For bulk purchases, contact 027-444-0180. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Cocoa Dairy-Free Coconut Milk. Hi, you are welcome back. You are watching Love at Home. Love at Home is a program that seeks to bring joy, happiness to your homes by through training, discussing issues that affect us daily so that we put ourselves and our families together whilst we prepare to meet Christ. With me here, I have Pastor Nimako and Madame Hannah Oye, and we've been discussing parenting. Parenting is very, very important. But before we left for commercial break, we were discussing, Madam Oye, you were saying something before we went for commercial break, and I would want you to continue. If any of these facets in life, for example, these physical, social, um, um, spiritual, and psycho uh, mental. Mental, mental, is put way ahead over any of these three or four, what happens? Okay. Pastor, this same question will go to you too. All right. you but you also be <coughs> on spiritualism. That's okay. Thank you. You know we are human beings. Yeah. And the way God created us, you need all the things that you are mentioning, the physical, the spiritual, the social, and everything to make you a whole being, a normal being, you see. So you can't say that, as for me, uh, I'm looking at only education and then you ignore the other parts of it, it doesn't work that way and you can't also say that because I'm a Christian I'm only taking to the Christian aspect of life and nothing more it doesn't work that way yeah. so you need a blend of all the things that we are talking about to make a child or to bring up a child. Madam Oye, I understand you, but let's look at it from this way. I have money. Now, parents are so busy, they don't want children to disturb them. So immediately they close from school, they put on cartoon. The child will sit by the TV, watch cartoon, every type, every name they know this cartoon and other things because he doesn't want the child to go out to go and play and get himself injured or bring him problem in court. Is there any consequence for such actions that we do or it is normal? It is not normal. Really? Uh, yes, because as I speak now, I, I have a, an intern in my office. A, she went to UK recently and then she was with the uncle. We were just talking about this thing in the office just this afternoon. He says, hey, Auntie Anna, my uncle's daughter, four years, she has watched cartoons and when she's there, she can't even speak properly. Mm. All the actions and the things that mm -hmm. she exhibits, is about cartoon. Those fantasies so, and all yes, that. So she will be there, and will be, she will turn like this, and she will be making the hands as if she, she is a cartoon. Mm -hmm. So quickly, because she's a psychologist, she called the uncle, hey, you are nursing a problem in this house. Mm -hmm. So you better come and observe your, your, your daughter. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you something. So for 30 minutes, okay. she sat down with the uncle 
and then they were observing the child mm -hmm. and she said you have a problem so you quickly you have to withdraw all these cartoons in this house lock them up so that the child speech and other things can be developed very very well otherwise you'll be in trouble you see people think that i have my money and that i don't want my child to play with anybody even in schools uh, these so-called big big schools they go and they don't want to interact to with themselves yes with, any. with anybody because mommy says we are different so they see other children as different uh, children it, it, it is it is very very dangerous so if you are one of them please revise your 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 notes about the way you you handle these issues about your children watching cartoons uh, wrestling i mean too much of everything is bad at least a child 15 minutes old, you all come and watch something that you are there to guide them. But you neglect them, you go to work, you don't have time. So, uh -huh, your food is here. When you come back, lock the door, and then they, they start watching. Okay. You see, it is a very, very serious problem that we are gradually uh, nursing or railing the children we are not training them so you come even parents when we close from work instead of even having time with the children mm. then you go pick your phone and then you are there oh mommy this morning when we went to school this boy hit me hey go with your you see go with your trouble go with your trouble you didn't hear the listening to the, the child. child and so she has a problem yes. there you see so we have to have time god has given them to us mm. and he knows that we have to bring them up so we shouldn't occupy ourselves with so much that we neglect that aspect we are not helping the children wow we all need to go back to school on parenting <laughs> pastor this is serious yes tell me more or tell us more what is the other side when it comes to spirituality? Too much spiritualism. Yes, so, so it's, 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 it's a very important thing to discuss. You see, a child must have a very balanced development. Okay. And in achieving balanced development, we have looked at the three, and the overriding principle around them is spirituality. But when spirituality is too much, and that is the only thing you are pushing. Then the, the child is deficit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have social development yeah. skills. You know, the child, if you don't, if, 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 you, you, you look mentally, the child is, is, is fixed, mm -hmm. you know. But what, what actually happens here is that even in, in, in the principle of boarding school, I am made to know is that when, when we go to bo the boarding school principle is to help us to be able to live with, with other each people. other, understand the way other people think, to be able to adjust to it and, and live a normal life. So if you dwell too much on the spiritual, as though the social development of the child is not yes. as important as the spiritual, sure. you have lost it because you don't even know your scripture. Yes. Mm. Because the scripture itself encourages us to bond with each Others. other, to be there with each other. And we have countless number of uh, Bible quotations to, to, to support, to support, to support yeah. that. Even the Bible is very, is very critical in letting us understand that as, as much as it depends on us, let us live peaceable Peace with, uh, with, with all other. men. Yeah. Romans 7, 12, verse 18. You understand? And so those, those principles are there uh, 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 to guide us. To guide us. So the Bible does not dwell only on the on the on the spiritual. Sure. That's why Jesus would even mingle. Yes. And when the when the so-called Christians, you no, know, dwelling on the spirituality, were were offended. Yes. Jesus did it. Why are you did, eating uh, with, with, with the, the publicans yes. or the sinners? And Jesus says, these these are the these are the people 
I came for. for. You know, he had to make all those statements only to drive home that point of looking at a very balanced um, perspective yes. Yes. Of, of, of all of this um, um, upbringing, either as an individual or in, in the child. So the child, Lucy, the child doesn't know how to adjust, yeah. how, to, how to talk, courtesy. Yeah. You know, even when you teach courtesy at home, oh, too. how does he experiment it? Yes. How does he uh, implement it, yeah. demonstrate it? <laughs> You are the daddy, you are the mommy. I mean, they, they can easily yeah. accord you that yes. one. But how would they perceive other elderly yeah. people? Yeah. Yeah. They will have to go back into the community. Yes. And because there is a, there is a, 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 a guidance gap. for them, you are also sure that yeah. they will not be swallowed by the things they, in, they, the, in, yeah, the in the society. So the spirituality is good. But when the child lacks social development, he doesn't know how to interact with the nature around mm -hmm. him or her. He doesn't know how to interact with the people around him or her. It is also very problematic. So what it ends up doing is that they, it, it, you, are, you are enforcing scripture day in, day out. But they are fighting against the scripture, the scripture day yeah. in, day out. Because mm -hmm. they are not able to live up to the dictates yes. and the principles of, of scripture. Okay. So, so spiritually, I, yes. I'm not cutting you that, short. That's fine. Me. That is why sometimes... Someone will just sit down and say, as for you, I have trained you. You are from a, a, a family a Christian of home. Christian home. And then you've gone to secondary school within three months and you've yeah, changed, changed so much. You see, you didn't, you failed to bring out the social life of the individual. So he gets there and say, hey. So this is how and the, world is. the world is. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Then and he embraces, he embraces, he embraces it. it. Yeah. And then you are doomed forever. So you have to add it. That is why we have our youth department. Sometimes they go for hiking. They go for it. So you have to, if you are a parent, you make sure that at least you also encourage your children. You make some funds available for them to partake in those things so you build as you build their spirituality you build their social life too exactly so, so they you know leave, themselves exactly. yes you don't so, leave one of and and yes. even to add up to that yeah i mean it brings to mind that you know there are many homes whether christian or non-christian yeah. there are many homes who fail to prepare children even for their senior high school oh yeah mm. Mm. many many children go mm -hmm. and the life is full of surprises to them. Yeah. You know, and when they are startled like that, they become more curious. Yes. Yeah. Wanting to know what, what is, 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 is yeah. in that. You, 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 get, you, you get my point. And so it is very, very necessary hmm. to have a balanced form of upbringing. Yes. Where you don't look at just the mentor. Mm -hmm. It's not just about book, book mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You don't look at maybe taking good care of your children to to look so good, you know, yeah. stature-wise, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Or you don't look at, you, you don't let also focus only on social, mm -hmm. everything yeah. about social, you're just mm -hmm. pushing them. You know, there are no guidance, there, mm -hmm. are, no, there are no set times mm -hmm. and timelines and things like yeah. that. They go out, they don't even know when to come back and all of that. No, that's also, yeah. and yeah, when, you, when you focus also too much on the spiritual, then you, you now leave these three, or these, especially the social yeah. aspect, Respect. you leave the, you leave it aside, and the child is deficit and and very unbalanced. The and so are, they become timid sometimes when they they see people, uh, they they don't know how to even mingle. They are not assertive. They are not yeah. assertive. Yeah, they are not assertive. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So you see them, their life is so queer and all that, yeah. and those who when they get to the university where there is free life, mm -hmm. then they, ah, oh, there is enjoyment <laughs> here. And so we were in a cage. So they do things, I mean, in excess. Yeah. You see. Talking about this, um, when we were on break, there was a caller that gave a story. Who He said that he went to secondary school for, um, he didn't know anything like, um, lesbianism mm. or gayism and all that even though the parents had provided everything so he didn't know there was something like that today 
he he got there and he was surprised mm -hmm. to to see and when he started when they started the feeling was good so he joined mm. and he uh, he thought it was good <laughs> it was later on after he had finished school that on, on one of tv programs he got to know that hey so this thing I was doing was no good. Mm -hmm. So it re-emphasizes the point that you were saying that we should not be biased in any of these facets, but mm -hmm. be upbringing in all of these aspects. Sure. Yeah. Now, um, somebody was also asking, if I'm a single parent and I don't have all that it takes, for example, if a man and a woman live together, mm -hmm. we, we are sure that there are things the man may look for in raising up the child and the woman will also do vice versa um, but if it is for a, a man or a woman and he can't do all is he allowed to do anything i mean this is what i can do so take it or it doesn't go that way mm. uh, you see our hands are not the same, the same you see so uh, before anything you sit down with the child that is parenting mm -hmm. it's not i have or i don't have mm -hmm. whatever you do make sure you bring the child on board right discuss issues with the child whether you are a single parent or both this is what you are going to school we know you are going to meet a lot of people who have so much but for us you know our situation this is what we can provide for you for now so appreciate it and then take it and the child will accept it but you don't tell the child anything this is what i have whether you like it or not excuse me to say the child goes he sees that he doesn't fit into the, the whole well. So they start all sorts of things. I met a, a, a young guy, a student. He was just depressing, very, very deep one. And when he was referred to me, I said, what is wrong, young man? He says, madam, my parents don't have money. And uh, in school, I see people uh, taking sardine mm -hmm. and other things, but I have nothing in my trunk except my sugar and, and gary. gary. And I said, oh, well done. Then your father is also good, though, mm -hmm. because he has been able to give you gary and sugar. Mm -hmm. In life, you have to appreciate what you have. You don't look at what somebody has, but what you have. So appreciate what you have. And that alone will be enough for you. Enjoy what you love. Go to dining. Eat from the dining. Government is paying. Your parent has also paid. So enjoy that. Mm. So I encourage him to do that. Mm. And then I bought some few uh, milk and some sardines for him, just for him to go. He was happy. He has completed school. <laughs> and he is doing well. Yeah. You see the point. So, but some, that is why I'm saying, if this dad sat the boy down, mm -hmm. it was a boy, not mm. a girl, <laughs> a boy, and was depressing because dining time, people are eating sardines, and I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Oh. See. So we need to becoming... sit down with the child, whatever decision that you are taking, whether you have money or not, just let the child understand that this one, I'm giving you more because today I have money. But next time when you come and I don't have the money to give you, please understand. And, yeah. and I think that that would be fair. Yeah, that would be reasonable. Wow. Yes. That would be reasonable. Pastor. Your last comment, please. Well, I just want to say that parenting is, is a difficult thing to do, <laughs> especially in this um, our generation. Yeah. Parenting has never been challenged like we are seeing today. And you know, you hear older folks 
even telling you that mm -hmm. now things have changed. Yes. Yes. The kids of today, the environment they find themselves in, their way of thinking yeah. and the way of understanding things, now they ask more of the why question yes. and things like that. Yes. And so, we, as parents, we need to understand the times in which mm -hmm. we find, find ourselves. ourselves. This yeah. is where we must be more accommodating at bringing our children more closer to ourselves, mm -hmm. helping them to express what their thoughts are, what their feelings are more to us. Mm -hmm. This is the time where parents need to, to equip themselves mm -hmm. very well mm -hmm. in the act of listening. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of parents are not listening. Mm -hmm. And so they are losing their children, you know, or, and especially all in the name of our busy schedule and our mm -hmm. busy lives. It has never helped. Mm. And just not, me as a, as a young parent now, if I sit now and I look at my parents, then I can stop at nothing to say a big thank you to them. Yeah. Yes. Because now, yeah. when your child does something, then you look back and you remember times when mom would not want you to do certain things mm -hmm. and you didn't understand. understand. Mm. Now you understand it better. Mm. Yes. My prayer is that God will give everybody opportunity to parent. Yes. yes. And that is where we begin to appreciate our mothers yeah. and our fathers very well. Yeah. So the fundamental thing is that parenting is challenging. Yeah. Parents must brace up and look at the spiritual development of our children, the physical development of our children, the social development of our children, and the mental development of our children. If we are able to, that is what we call holistic, holistic. you know, upbringing. upbringing or parenting, yeah. if you are able to do this, and you know, it comes by experience. Yeah. Yeah. As the day passes yeah. by, you gain experience. Where you get it wrong, you, you make you amends correct, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and progress from there because parenting is a process. Yeah. It's a marathon. Okay. It's not a sprint. It end. And so, yeah, my yes. time is really up. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Kindly give me your last comment. Oh, all that I will say this evening is that I have seen that the use of mobile phones by parents after work is creating a lot of problems at home. Mm -hmm. And instead of at least finding out what uh, the child's experience from school and all that, you are busy on your phone because you are tired. Then, oh, go and watch cartoons. I'm busy, mm. you see. So... All the training has been cartooned. Their minds are being cartooned. And that they also behave like cartoons. <laughs> so we have to be very, very, very mm. careful these days. Mm. Yes. And make sure we train. At least we have Bible stories and others. You, you slot them and then the children will be watching. You ask them questions about what they have learned from the scripture. And they will be able to tell you more instead of what the white man has brought and it is killing us. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful as parents. Wow. Today's discussion has been very, very interesting. I hope you enjoyed. Next week, please rem remember to tell your friend that it is same time 8 p.m. when we, we sit and discuss love at home. My guest today has been Pastor Nimako, um, he's a counselor. Then Madam Hana Oye Efriye is also a psychologist and a counselor as well. So today we were discussing parenting and I'm sure you've learned a lot. I have and I'm sure you out there also took in so many lessons. But what is so much important is that the good old Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 6 that train up your child the way you should go and when he grows he will never depart from it. On this note, I say thank you so much for watching and I hope same time next week Tuesday, you're going to call your friends and your family to sit and let's all develop and grow our families. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Enjoy your evening.